Hey humans, Lyric here. Uh, I have been dealing with a lot of change in my life recently and as an autistic person, some of us can find change to be difficult and I am one of those autistic people who struggles a lot with change. So if you would like to know more about my experience with this, please stay tuned. fit the autism stereotype of being an autistic person who does not handle change well. And in that sense, I mean, I am someone who can have meltdowns and shutdowns if a surprise change happens to me. So my reaction to not handling change well is often apparent to other people. And it has been something that I have dealt with my entire life. Even though I am a Buddhist, and so because of that, I am very um, aware of the importance and the necessity of change, and the fact that, that changes can be good is not lost on me. I have this love-hate relationship with change because I need change in a way, but I also want everything to stay exactly the same. And so I am constantly fighting myself on this. Probably the most confusing thing to other people about this is that I struggle even dealing with good, good air quotes, change or change that I want and change that I am making myself go through is still difficult for me. New situations, unfamiliar situations are very difficult for me, even if they're situations that I want to be in. And it takes me a lot of mental energy to put myself out there in unfamiliar situations. Uh, Change tends to be one of those circumstances where there are suddenly a lot of unknowns. It removes me from the comfort of my routines and knowing what comes next. Change is often something that is filled with surprises and the unknown. Even when I was a little kid, I was someone who didn't handle surprises very well. Most kids would, I guess, be happy to get Christmas gifts, Christmas surprises. But for me, once the holiday music started and the holidays started to kick off, I would dread all of the surprises and the not knowing and the Christmas gifts that were coming for months and weeks if I knew people were going to give me things and I didn't know what it would be like even now I'm like please don't give me things like I don't want to do the holiday stuff Uh, but my mom would always just tell me what my birthday gifts or my Christmas gifts were because it would just make me so anxious to not know something and have a surprise coming. There's a lot of reasons that change can be hard, but it it triggers a lot of things in me. Surprises and the unknown, breaking up my routines, because I am very much a person of routine. I find a lot of comfort in knowing what's happening or knowing the routine. Um, it, It gives me something I can count on and it helps kind of ground and center me to have a bit of predictability and understanding of what's going on 
uh, because a lot of times, especially around other people in situations like I don't know what's going on, other people are confusing to me, but at least if I, I know my routine and I, I've got things down, I can have some sense of stability because this world often destabilizes me and I'm just searching for some kind of stability. I mentioned briefly earlier how my reaction to change can be noticeable to other people. A lot of times in the past when I worked with other people, work would be a place where this would happen a lot and I would have a very carefully planned out plan, front to end, and all of these steps to get there. And someone would come up and throw a, throw a metaphorical wrench into what I had been planning. I, I've tried to explain this to people before. Is like, when I've got a plan, it's taken me a while to visualize and piece all of the pieces together and line them up perfectly as when I was a kid, I would have lined up my toys. I'd line up my plan all perfectly, right? And I can see all the steps and I know what's coming next and that gives me peace. Then someone comes around and starts moving around blocks. And it feels very much to me like you have taken an Etch-a-Sketch. My plan was so neatly outlined in this Etch-a-Sketch and shaken it all up and taken away all of my stability. And all of a sudden I am completely overwhelmed because I don't even know where to start anymore because everything I had visualized is now gone. It takes me a while to recover from that. And even if I don't express myself on the outside, like on the inside, a lot of times I'm just like, ugh, spiraling and stuck, trying not to let someone know how upset I am that they've done this to me because a lot of times people don't mean to do this and they have no idea what they've done. They have no idea. And if I lash out at them, especially in a workplace, well, this, this never works out well for me. So I, and I turn all that frustration inward, really, uh, on myself, which is less comfortable for me than if I were to just let it out. But letting it out often would have greater consequences in the long run. So I've learned to kind of shut down and implode on myself. Another way that my inability to deal with change can be an inconvenience, air quotes, on other people. Because this is generally when they talk about autistic people, is how much we inconvenience others around us and something that other people find inconvenient or confusing or perplexing about me is my difficulty shifting tasks, shifting from one task to another task, shifting gears. My gearbox is a bit sticky. Uh, it, take, it takes time. I, I get, you know, like a freight train, all the momentum going in one direction, and I'm in this one type of task, and then all of a sudden you need me to switch to something completely different, and my brain doesn't instantly transition to something different. I've got a bit of a lag time as I transition into doing different things. Like, with work, in the morning, I do specific types of tasks in a big chunk of time, then I go take a break so I can shift my brain and mentally prepare to do something that's a different kind of task. And then I do all of those tasks that are that type of task. But in workplaces, I've had jobs where employers expect me to be able to switch back and forth between a bunch of things that are in no way related constantly, multitasking, uh, answering phones, writing a report and entering data and being disrupted constantly uh, while doing these things and switching, switching, switching. That doesn't work well for me at all. There may, there may be some people who can do that, but I suspect a lot of people don't do well with multitasking. But as someone who is autistic and also has ADHD, that type of a job where I'm expected to constantly be just splitting my brain in all of these different directions is very, very stressful to me to the point like stressful where I, I will get sick from the stress of it and it will exacerbate my struggles with being able to hold and focus my attention. With ADHD, we've got attention. It's just difficult to put it where we need to put it and being able to have like real focus time to do things is essential for me to be able to do things uh, and there are just some 
situations where people are not very forgiving of that need and they don't understand how much being put into that situation where I'm constantly being asked to split my attention more than my attention is already trying to split itself naturally can be really harmful to my health and my mental health and how that can make things harder for me in many areas of my life uh, because it just messes with my brain having to constantly like change tasks really quickly so that's another change that's hard for me as a neurodivergent person outside of just uh, the autism piece thanks to everyone for sticking around for the entire video if you stuck around till the end and you like this video don't forget to hit that like button hit the thumbs up let me know that this was helpful for you if you think it might be helpful helpful for someone else too, go ahead and hit that share so that hopefully we can reach more people together. I cannot do it without the help of the viewers like you, whether you are sharing, liking, commenting, giving your video suggestions, or subscribing monetarily on YouTube, Facebook, or Patreon. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. I, I couldn't do it without you. And I mean that with the bottom of my heart. Thank you all so much. Those are just some of my personal experiences dealing with change as an autistic person who does, in fact, struggle to handle change. I would love to hear other perspectives of other autistic and neurodivergent people. If you struggle to deal with change or do you love change and seek out the novelty of it, depending on your neurotype, your experience of change can be very different than mine or even other autistic people do you do you like change or how do you deal with change to make it easier if you struggle with it like I do let's keep this conversation going and remember that autistic people and neurodivergent people are not a monolith even people with the same two diagnoses or neurotype can have very different experiences of life and the world around them I will talk to you all next week bye